What is this? This is a yogurt strainer. Didn't we already make yogurt? Yes, we did. But this recipe is even easier than the last one. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Why are you getting yogurt? I love yogurt. Me too. Rachel loves yogurt. This we time. especially like our yogurt mm -hmm. because we know what's in it. And I can't put that back in. I'll give you one more. Oh, thank you. We know what's in it. Mm -hmm. It's only got a couple of ingredients. Super easy to make. It's really easy to make. But here's the thing. We've already made it. Why are we doing a recipe video on something we've already done a recipe video on? Because this one, there's a couple of differences. Okay. Number one, it's easier to make. The first one was easy to make. This one is ridiculously easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Well, didn't I help make the first one? You, okay, so this one is so easy that your four-year-old could make it. How's that? I don't know if I would have a four-year-old making my food for me. Maybe yeah. 10. No, I'm telling a four-year-old could make it. This is ridiculously easy. But also, our last recipe for yogurt, for keto instant pot yogurt. Yeah. The purpose of that was to duplicate peak yogurt. And to introduce us to nut milk bags. <laughs> It was to duplicate peak yogurt, which is a very high fat yogurt that tastes delicious and we wanted to duplicate it. Back then we really ate copious amounts of fat. Whether we needed it or not. And so we decided to show you how you could make keto yogurt that's the same ridiculously like one to two carbs maximum per serving. And a good consistency. And a good consistency but be much lower in fat. All right. So that's the second part. And the third part is that we don't need these anymore. My nut milk bag? No. Are you ready? I am. I've got my nut milk bag. We don't need that. Let's do it. What do we put inside here? We need two ingredients. Is one already in here? Because we need three ingredients. We need heavy whipping cream. No, we need two ingredients. We need milk. Okay and we need yogurt. Yes. Okay, so here's how we're gonna make this lower fat. Okay, number one, we're not using heavy whipping cream anymore. Which is, sounds crazy. Okay, it's still gonna taste just as good. All right. Trust me. Yeah. Then we're gonna use, we're, we use Fairlife. Now the one that I really like, and you can use either one, they're interchangeable. Okay. Is the Organic Valley Ultra Milk. Shouldn't milk be milk? So, well these two are ultra filtered. So they're filtering out half of the sugar. So that's why we're using either Fairlife or Organic Valley Ultra. Unfortunately, our local Whole Foods is no longer carrying Ultra. Why? It's hard to find. The one store around me that I can find it is charging double the price of this one. So they're both the same. We ain't doing that. What I liked about the Ultra is there was a little bit more. Whereas this is 52 ounces, the container of Ultra was 64 ounces. So you got a half, a full half gallon and you pay the same price, but the one store that is charging almost double. So that's out. Okay. So this goes on sale all the time at Publix. They sell it at Whole Foods. So now the last one that we had used whole milk. This one, we're going to use the 2%. Now you can use the other ones, but I tried and it doesn't taste as good. So I recommend using the 2% or the whole milk. This one is half the fat of this one but the same amount of sugars. And remember, whatever sugars are in there, they're gonna get used by the bacteria to make yogurt, and then we're gonna strain off the whey, getting rid of the rest of it. No way. Which is going to leave us with like one to two carbs per serving. Okay. Then we need some yogurt. 
So I like this one. The reason I like the Faye, however you Fahe, pronounce it, Fage, Fage. is I like the bacteria that they use in here. It's what makes it super thick. You can use any yogurt so long as it has live cultures. Yeah. But some of them are going to be much thinner than the other. So I would use this or... You can take some from your last batch. This is kind of awesome. And use some of that one. The only thing is, is I would not go more than two batches. So after, oh. so make a batch, save some. Some people make a batch and then save a bunch of them in the freezer and then make another batch. And so they, they basically have a whole batch, which is nothing but cultures. And they freeze it because you can freeze the bacteria. Isn't that cool? But... I would use, like, maybe make a batch, save enough to make the next batch. If you can. Then maybe make one more batch, then start over, because it's going to get tangier and tangier and tangier the more you go. Okay? And I, I don't... Because you're pushing those bacteria. Yeah, I don't like the tanginess. So, you ready? Yes. Now, we do do this in an Instant Pot, okay? Yes. There are directions down below if you don't have an Instant Pot. It's just easier with an Instant Pot. You can also do it if you have you know, any kind of like a sous vide machine. The goal is maintaining temperature while everything is incubating. So you're going to get an Instant Pot that has a yogurt setting. We're going to take the top off. You ready? Yeah. Dump it in. The whole thing. Dump it all the in. The entire container. Yep. All 52 ounces. All 52 ounces. Now our friends Chris and Miriam actually make double batches at a time. I think that's smart. Okay. Well, they have six children. Yeah. Okay. Now, there are, for this, by the way, two sizes. This is the half, the two-quart one, and there's also a... What are you doing? No, we're not using that. This is the two-quart one. They also have a four-quart one, a full-gallon one. This will fit our recipe, whether you're using the heavy whipping cream or not. How if many you're making a double bags batch, get the gallon one. Does that mean? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Take your yogurt... Okay. There's no exact science to this. Okay. I like this. That they put this on here. Oh. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, Oop. just put a couple of spoons in. A good one? Like a heaping? Like that. Yeah. So, I usually say a couple of tablespoons. Boom. Yep. That's all you need. You know? That's all you need. If you want to put a little bit more, that's fine. But you only need like two nice heaping tablespoons. Take your whisk and whisk it up. You good? Yes. Put the top on. I have a top on. Are you struggling? I'm struggling. This is a this is a lefty thing. Okay, here wait. Okay. I did. Make it. sure it is on venting. We're not pressure cooking. We're venting. Right. Hit yogurt. You're done. Okay. I set it on 10 hours. You can do it on eight. 10 hours is going to let it incubate a little bit longer. It's going to make it even thicker, which means you don't have to strain it quite as long. Okay, it's been eight hours. Yogurt's I, ready. I got my nut milk bags. We don't need nut milk bags. These are brand new <laughs> nut milk bags. Maybe I That's thought... That's for a different recipe. No, they're for this recipe. No, we're going to use this. No. Okay? This is so much easier. Put the nut milk bags away. We need nut milk bags. Okay. This is a yogurt strainer. This is going to make your life so much easier that a three-year-old could make this yogurt. But it's not going to make it funnier. Nut milk bags make it funnier. Okay, here you go. Ready? Yes. Take your yogurt. Okay. Do you want to do this or you want yeah, me to do it? Yeah, I'll turn it and you get okay. all the goodie out. So just Ooh. pour it in. <clears throat> all that liquid is the whey, the carbs. No way! And we're just going to... I can't do this upside down. I can't see, but... <laughs> Getting it? I'm breathing into our yogurt. Mmm. Because it smells amazing, right? Okay. It's not brisket. Yogurt is not brisket. No, not the it, same it smell. It doesn't smell like bacon. No, Yankee Candle is not making a yogurt smell. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this. And what's going to happen is, you want to put that over there. There's actually Chew still it. a little bit left in there. Yeah. But you can see here is it's just going to strain out all of the way. Now, you can put this on your counter. 
-hmm. Or you can put it into the refrigerator, which is where we put it. Yes. Rachel has a thing about putting dairy on the counter. She won't even let me store my butter on the counter. I know that butter can move in right onto your counter for like months and years at a time, probably. But like not, not here. But the yogurt, you can let the strain on the counter. It will not go bad. It's not going to go rancid. It's not going to get you sick. As a matter out. of fact, because it's at room temperature, you're going to drain out more way quicker. I'll now, wait. you're going to let this drain out way until it gets to the consistency that you like. We generally do at least overnight, yeah. up to like 24 hours. We like it really, really thick. We want to be able to take the spoon and turn it upside down. And then what you're going to do is, just like in our other video, you can measure out how much whey you've taken out and figure out the carbs. But you're going to end up at the same as before, like one carb to two carbs max per serving. And the whey doesn't have to go to waste because our animals love it. Yeah. Now, some people use it in their garden. We just give yeah. it to the animals. Chicken. But yeah, so we're just going to let this sit. And now... You don't have to mess with twisting the nut milk bags and I tying it in the I love twisting the nut milk bags. And so we're just going to put it in here and then it's much easier to clean. I'm going to leave a link for this down below. This is the half a gallon one. This one will do our recipe perfectly. They have a bigger one if you like to double your recipe like our friend Chris where they can get a gallon one. I'll leave a link for both of them down below. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator and we'll be back tomorrow. Yogurt's done. The hardest part of this recipe is waiting for it. Yeah, so it's been, I guess, about 16 hours since we put in here. And again, the longer you leave it in here, the longer, the thicker it's going to get. So it's, it really comes down to, like, how thick do you like a yogurt? Like, we want it where you turn your spoon upside down, it stays yeah. there. Like, really, really, almost like a cream cheese. But this is so much easier than the... Nut milk bag. Nut milk bag. Not so, nearly as fun to say, though. There we go. There's our yogurt. And here's our whey. There's the whey. We feed it to the chickens and to they, the dog. They love it. We don't, like, some people talk about, it, like, you can use it in your garden. We don't have a garden. So... We have chickens. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a bowl. Now, a lot of times what we'll do is we get the little individual cups because... Serving size. We're not very good at serving size. You'll sizes. want to eat this entire thing once you start. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to take this and scoop it out. Look how thick Look it is. Look at that. Look how thick this is. And again, if you don't want it this thick, you can actually add some of that way back in if you want. You could add in a little bit of like heavy whipping cream, you know, whatever you want to kind of thin it out. Some people will just just don't strain it quite as long as we have. Again, we like it this thick. I want it really thick because we also use it as like sour cream too yeah. sometimes. It's really good. Sometimes we'll even use it as ricotta cheese. Yes, it works great for that if you put it in between the layers. So you can of, just sit here and I mean really that, yeah. scrape and scrape and scrape and get everything out of here. But it, it's still easier than the nut milk bags. But so we'll put this off to the side. But again... To give you an idea how thick this is. Look at that. Look at that. So you're going to figure out the macros the same way with the other video. If you look at the recipe down below, it's got the instructions on it. All we did different here was we didn't add the heavy whipping cream. We didn't use a nut milk bag. We didn't use the nut milk bag. And we used the lower fat milk. But you can use whatever milk you want. What we really wanted to demonstrate is this works without the heavy whipping cream. And it works without a nut milk bag, just using a yogurt strainer, and it makes it super, super easy. Now, we actually really like this plain. We're going to go ahead and try this, but again, just to demonstrate, look at that. Is that amazing? It's amazing. Mmm. It's so good. It's so good. And there's no tang to it at all. No. No tang. It is so stinky. So if you're looking for a way to get some more protein in... And not have as much fat. This yeah. is a great way. Now, if you want to sweeten it, mm -hmm. a few things. You can add some stevia. You can add some liquid sucralose. You can get the flavored sweeteners. Like, get things like, you yeah. know, the, the English toffee stevia. My suggestion would be divide it into servings and do that. This way you're not stuck yes. with an entire... Like, Rachel doesn't want it sweet. So, if no. I decided, like, hey, I want vanilla. Um, what I'm, If I did this whole thing, she's not going to eat it at all. Now, a lot of people ask us how long this will last. I have had it in the refrigerator for two to three weeks, and it has not gone bad. It is not. We've actually, we've actually eaten it after like almost a month. It hasn't gotten us sick. So it's what you feel comfortable with. 
if you open it up and there's mold growing on it, maybe you want to throw it out. Right. But well, it's all in the container you're going to put it in. Well, and it honestly, the fact that we've had it for like two weeks is only because it got pushed into the back of the refrigerator and we didn't see it anymore. Because yeah. if we see it, we will eat or it. Or we went on vacation. And yeah. then what we do is we actually get these. We've we've been slowly switching out all of our plastic lock and locks because we cook in them. And also like they're getting that like scaly stuff on the yeah. bottom. And so we're trying to not cook in plastic. So we got these at, what is that? The Ross, right? That's where I like fell in love with going into that super store because they I, were super cheap. It was like 19 bucks for a whole set. And they're, these are the OXO brands, but they're like lock and lock. Now, the other thing, if you want to get flavors and sweeteners, again, another thing you can do if you don't mind Silk Rose, these skinny syrups, like this is the birthday cake flavor. This they have a great. lemon flavor. You can put anything you want. Just put just a little bit in there. And again, you're going to have a nice flavor with some sweetness. But definitely do it one little cup at a time because, you know, I we've all learned the sweetener. It's like one drop too many is is like might as well throw the whole batch out. So you definitely want to like experiment in, in small containers. Yeah. So that's going to be this video on how to make our yogurt a little bit less fattening and also how to not use... Nut milk bags. Aww. Now let us know down in the comment section if you've made this one. And also let us know if you made our old recipe because they're both very similar. They both taste delicious. One is just a little bit fattier than the other. And one of them, we tell you how to use nut milk bags. And nut the milk other bags. One, we show you how to use a yogurt strainer. We love you nut milk bags. <laughs> now if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our other recipe videos, which I'm going to link right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and then every single time we do something without a nut milk bag, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.